so it is time to do some cardio. Somebody will sometimes say or ask, what's the best way to lose body fat? And till this day, it's been like 15 years that I've been training. Um, well, I've been in the fitness industry for a while, but professionally for 15 years. If you're new here to my channel, welcome to Manny Ramos Motivation. I am a certified personal trainer and I created Manny's Gym and Boot Camp in 2009. We do indoor boot camp, outdoor boot camp, personal training, online coaching, and open gym. As you can see right now, we are in our gym. And over the 15 years, I can honestly say, if you want to lose some significant amount of weight, do some cardio. This rower right here, the bike, we're gonna be going to the assault bike right now. The treadmill or run outdoors, or even the battle ropes, even boxing, all those are good ways to get your cardio in and uh, lose some body fat weight. Now here's the thing though, don't get me wrong, nutrition plays a big part as well. You have to make sure you're eating the right foods and being in a calorie deficit in order for you to lose body fat weight or else you're just gonna maintain. You're eating too much, you're going to just maintain. You're not gonna really see too much of a change. Now on top of that, don't think that I'm, I only do cardio, no. I, always, I, I do resistance training as well because I don't wanna lose the strength that I have you know, trying to keep as much as much muscle as possible during a cut. That's that's the secret to this. Is once you build enough muscle and you want to lose some weight now to cut, cardio is good, but still do some resistance training and keep your calories at a 300 to 500 calorie deficit only. If you go too low you will lose a good amount of muscle through the process because you're already on a deficit. So you gotta be very, very careful. I'm gonna be, I did a one and a half mile run earlier, outdoor, outdoor mile and a half. And I came in and I'm gonna be doing a mile and a half on the rower as well. That's uh, 200, 2,400 meters here on the rower. I love the rower because it's cardio, it's not too heavy, and uh, it's a, it uses more back. You work, work out the back, a little bit of, of the legs, but the back is an amazing, amazing feeling right here. Keeping your elbows here nice and tight, leaning back, keep your lower back straight, and get that pull. See, I'm already at 700 meters. 100 meters more. Take a one minute rest and then go back in for another 0.5. That'll put me at one and a half miles. So I'm gonna see what kind of results this gives me. We're here for like an hour and a half. So I'm gonna try to do as much as possible here. And uh, get the majority of it will be cardio but I'm still gonna add a little bit of resistance training right now in a little bit. There it is. All right. Right now I'm, I'm using the Ronin and uh, I, I'm, I'm still kind of getting used to it. Look at that. Hey, over here. <laughs> over here there you are <laughs> yeah so I have uh, the remote control right here on my phone so you have to get used to how it works so like I said that's I, I, that's one mile on the rower I need 0.5 I need half a mile left 
and then I'm gonna be go coming over here to the assault bike. We actually came in here on Saturday and we ended up doing the rower for two miles and uh, so now we'll, our plan is to stay as consistent as possible with the rower and uh, just with that rower workout that we did on Saturday man I, I already feel good I feel really good And the thing with this is that I can actually be switching back and forth from the rower to the assault bike. But since we are a gym, you have to have respect for others that are using the other machines. Because usually there's people in here and we don't want to pick up a bad habit to where I go back and forth. But... You know, you're using up two pieces of equipment at the same time. No, finish it up. Do your one and a half here. Clean it up, wipe it down, and then go to the next one, right? Gym etiquette. Done. Oh, man. All right. Okay. There we go. Over here. It's kind of weird because my control, it, uh, it's like the opposite. Okay, there you go. Yeah. You know, so I, if I go to the right right here, that goes to the left. I go to the left, that goes to the right, so I gotta get used to that. Okay. So we're gonna be going to the assault bike now. We have uh, my son, Milo, he's, he's trying to build some bolder shoulders. So he's doing, how many types of exercises? Like five? Beautiful. All right, so here we go. I did 1.5 over there. So 1.5 run, 1.5 on the rower. Now we're gonna get 1.5 here on the assault bike.
All right, so I'm at 2.6 right now. Push, pull, pedal. This one, now this one is chest, back, legs. Chest, back, legs. And uh, you actually cover more distance over here because of that. So it only took me like 10 minutes to get three miles. So instead of 1.5, I'm gonna be doing three miles. It is Monday and I'm creating my plan of attack. So starting with 1.5 mile outdoor run, second rowing, one and a half row, and then three miles on the assault bike. I'm gonna leave the rest of the time like around 15 minutes for some resistance training. I'm gonna go do the incline bench press. There it is. All right. So we're gonna go over here. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna go over here to the bench press. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up the incline, incline bench press, and we're gonna hit the chest nicely. Check it out. All right, here we go. It, this ain't too much, it's only 85 pounds. Just, I haven't done the incline in a while, so bear with me. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna be doing three rounds of this. I'm gonna add a little bit more weight. And uh, this will be my last exercise right here. We got like a couple of more sets to go. Uh, I think I'm able to squeeze in one more exercise, which I haven't done in a while, which is the kettlebell swing. So let me go over here. The kettlebell swing is one of my favorite exercises that you can do for the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, stability muscle. This is only a 45 pound kettlebell right here. This one. So I want to go ahead and add it. Oh, there we go. Right All right. Bear with me. Like I said, if you're just joining me on this video, we got the Ronin CS up and at it active and it's a little bit hard to control but I got you
more set of bench incline and one more set of that kettlebell that I just did. Yeah, so I have my son right here. We're all working on separate muscle groups. We still do our own cardio. We still do high intensive interval training, but then we also add uh, some resistance to whatever muscle group we're trying to develop. I'm just maintaining right now. I'm just keeping my strength and uh, I'm gonna be losing some weight. These guys, they're pretty good on weight. So now they're just developing muscle. Shoulders for this guy. Arm, core, abdominals. So shoulder, abdominals. And you guys are probably some legs. Don't be skipping leg day. <laughs> All right, here we go, last round. We looking like chicken legs. do is I'm gonna be writing all these things down so I can perfect my plan and making sure that I am kind of hitting what, what I'm trying to hit and that is every single muscle of the body so I can keep my full body strength and then uh, do some weight like I said all right so here we go last round make sure you encourage me Encourage me in the in the comment section. There we go. content possible that's just little by little as you can see I'm still getting used to the running but it's gonna be lovely hit the like button subscribe if you haven't yet so and I'll see you on the next one mind body and strive